Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Stay Alert. And our scripture is Mark's Gospel, chapter 13. However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself. Only the Father knows. And since you don't know when that time will come, be on guard. Stay alert. The coming of the Son of Man can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. When he left home, he gave each of his slaves instructions about the work they were to do, and he told the gatekeeper to watch for his return. You too must keep watch, for you don't know when the master of the household will return. In the evening, at midnight, before dawn, or at daybreak, don't let him find you sleeping when he arrives without warning. I say to you what I say to everyone, watch for him. That corner of the room where Elizabeth and I eat breakfast and have our morning devotion together is watched over by my mom and dad's grandfather clock. As I read Mark's account of Jesus telling his disciples to be watching diligently for his return, the clock knew what we were reading. I read the words of Jesus, be on guard, stay alert. Right on cue, the clock struck, bong, bong, just over my left ear. I tell you, it was hard to concentrate on finishing the reading. There's something just foreboding and portentous about the sound of those Winchester chimes bonging from the depths of that clock's presence. But when it arrives with the words of Jesus, stay alert, cannot be ignored. Here we are in the first light of a new calendar year. I would ask how those resolutions are going, but I wouldn't be that unkind. It's always on God's agenda, though, to give us a fresh start. Resolution is part of that process, and for obvious reasons, staying alert is always the next step in the process. The most important of these evident reasons is greasy tracks. It's been said that our lives are like railroad tracks, and God always greases the tracks in the direction you choose. If you start walking in God's direction, He will be found. If you walk away from Him, you'll find it easier and easier to ignore that still, small voice every day. Finding God's will in your process is imperative. It's like reading the owner's manual. Much like a manufacturer of computers sends updates to keep your machine working properly, God's will is his ultimate human software patch. To carry any analogy too far is dangerous, but just to beg the elephant in the room about God's will in our programming, we have to consider malware viruses. The enemy is constantly looking for ways past your security system, your firewall. The Apostle Peter echoes Jesus' warning in 1 Peter 5.8, Stay alert! Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. God's will can be found in his word, that which will seek out and dismantle any hacking attempts by the enemy. The apostle Paul wrote in Hebrews chapter 4, For the word of God is alive and powerful. It's sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. One last computer comparison. Prayer is the activation code. Colossians chapter 4, Paul wrote, Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. For you today, In a world that's been lulled into dozing off by a myriad of distractions, keeping an alert mind that keeps in focus and eyes on the goal of God's will in your life, what else could be more important than staying alert? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.